Hello Vinyl Community and anyone else watching this. I thought maybe it was time to do another Vinyl Update video. Um, the other day, me and my friend Mike, we took a trip to um, Rochester, which is, I don't know, 120 miles away, maybe something like that, maybe a little less. And uh, we decided to hit up a couple of record stores, a guitar store, whatever there. Just make sort of a day of the trip. And uh, wound up going to two places. He had to get back um, <laughs> by 4 o'clock. So uh, we didn't do too much. But um, I went to a store called Record Archives. And another one was the House of Guitars, which is an amazing place. Um, Tons of guitars in glass cases. I'm a Dano Electro. I'm a Dano Electric? Yeah. Dan Electro, that's the word I'm looking for, fan. And uh, they had a few really nice ones. I was like, uh. But, anyways, on to records. They have another room. Room, yeah, it's the size of a small warehouse with nothing but records in it. You could spend a week in there. <laughs> and not see everything. Nothing's in order, just stacks of records everywhere, but tons of new vinyl. And uh, surprisingly, both of these places had a lot of stuff left over from Record Store Day. Not just this one, but Record Store Day's past right up through the beginning. So I spent more time looking at Record Store Day items than I did anything else. In fact, I didn't even look at used records at uh, House of Guitars at all. Um, anyway, I did buy um, some things that I missed on Record Store Day. And I'm also going to show some things that I've gotten a couple other places that I didn't get from that trip as well. I'm going to mix it all together. Um, so here's some recent finds. And I'm going to show a couple 45s first, including they released three Jeff Becks on... Um, Record Store Day, but this was the one that I really wanted. High Ho Silver Lining is my favorite Jeff Beck song. And uh, if I picked it up, there's the back of the uh, disc. I didn't get the other two. And um, it's cool. They put it on um, an epic promo label. Sunday put this out. And the other side has that epic promo label. And uh, it's on red vinyl. So... I thought that was awesome. And this one I didn't know about. Emmett Rhodes. I'm a huge Emmett Rhodes fan. Emmett Rhodes covering the Bee Gees. How can you mend a broken heart? It's back with Chris Price and Please Read Me. That was a good track too. I've listened to both of these. And the best quality I've ever heard the Jeff Beck was on this 45. So I was very pleased with these. And this one is on a British style small hole 45 and again on red vinyl. And this was pretty cheap. I, and I played it and I really, really like it. <laughs> I was so happy to find this and it was the only one they had. So more record store day stuff. Along with the replacements, Alex Chilton, which I didn't get on my trip. I did get this. Um, online, although I did see it for the same price I paid while I was there. This is, of course, the 10 inch. I actually have an original of this on 45. It came out in a 45 EP from England originally, but I got Ice Spun for the 10 inch. I'm a huge replacement fan and uh, wanted the Alex Chilton EP because I'm a huge Alex Chilton fan as well. This I didn't get on the road trip either. The Tomorrow album, but I did again see it for about the same price I paid. I had to have this and um, Someone who was it someone I watched got this on record store day and the vinyl in here is really cool But I haven't opened it up yet um, Hogsy report Ron Showed this and it's I love the album I have it on CD and I love that they did the flip back cover on the back, the fold of the edges over. Awesome, awesome record. And I had to get the Zombies album that never was, R.I.P. I don't know if you can see it, but the faces are in the album on the black. It's really hard to see. It's kind of a cool cover, though. Uh, let me move 
little bit light. It's giving me a little glare. That might help a little. And this I forgot about. This I did pick up on the road trip. The Temples. It's a live EP. And um, I'd forgotten it came out. And I saw this. I went, oh, hey, I forgot something. Um, all of this they didn't have at uh, the record store I went to on record store day. So, and um, Flipside CT showed this. And uh, I'd forgotten about this as well. And uh, saw it and grabbed it up. It's on Green Vinyl, the second Saints album. And I have heard this before, and it's really, really good. So I was happy to get that. This I didn't get on the trip either, but I had to. Slim Dunlap, of course, the famous Minneapolis guitar player. Um, the guy that replaced um, Bob Stinson in The Replacements. He hasn't been doing well lately. I haven't heard his progress lately. I don't know if he's recovering or not. But he's a fantastic guitar player. And, um... Steven, whoops, I believe, got this as well. And um, maybe this was the only thing he got. Maybe it wasn't Steve that did the same. I can't remember. But I know he did this one because he defined it as rock and roll. And uh, I've actually never heard either of these two albums. There's two albums on here. Um, the Old New Me and Times Like This. But I do look forward to it. And it comes with um, a poster, 45 adapter, and a guitar pick. So, Cool. And this was dirt cheap. I got this online. It is a record store day release. Lord Sitar. His version of I Can See for Miles is fantastic. And uh, I picked this up for under 10 bucks online. Um, amazing. And again, it's got the flip back, back cover. It's just a cool album. You'll see all those are sealed. I haven't gotten to any of them. And I had to pick up The Family Way. I was, I don't have one. And I was deba debating it. And, um... I'm a huge McCartney fan, and I'm like, I, I gotta get it. So, I picked up The Family Way, but you've all seen this a million times by now. And this was um, Hog's Ear as well. Ron recommended this, and I've heard it, and um, I haven't opened mine yet, but I have heard it, and it is really, really good. The Sonics got back together, made a record for Record Store Day, and uh, there's some old Sonics there for you. And, um fantastic album in mono sex pistols spunk more road trip as was the sonics i used to have this on cd it's come out in many many versions i haven't played this yet i hope it's one of the better ones the one on cd i bought in london actually at the airport <laughs> And um, I don't have it anymore, so I'm hoping this is a good replacement for it. Um, it basically was a bootleg at one point, and they've released it. And uh, track listing there if you want to pause it. I was looking for actually um, 13th Floor Elevators <laughs> when I came across the Teenage Fan Club. <laughs> um... They're man-made LP. I was like, wow. So I had to grab that. I'm a huge Teenage Fan Club fan. And then I found Shadows by the Teenage Fan Club and said, oh my goodness. So I had to get that as well. Now, Record Archives, I did go through the used bin and my friend Mike found this and said, hey, have you seen this? And I just, my eyes bulged out of my head. All the best. Stiff Little Fingers. This I have on CD as well. But to find it on vinyl, to double record greatest hits, and uh, it's immaculate. And um, I was just, whoa. This was, this and the Emmett Road singles were the finds of the day. I thought this was pretty cool. The Birds Sanctuary. I did not know Columbia Records, well, on the, along with Sundays, put this out. Um, this is sort of a collection, I think, of some of the bonus tracks when they released, reissued the CDs. There's four or five bonus tracks on each one. This is some of the better ones of those. It's got alternate versions of All I Really Want to Do, Feel a Whole Lot Better, The World Turns All Around Her, It's All Over Now, Baby Blue, She Don't Care About Time, It's No Use, You Won't Have to Cry, 
I played this and it's really, really good and it sounds fantastic. This was really cheap, but I had to get it. Dan Hicks and his Hot Licks original recordings. This is a greatest hits collection of some of this stuff. And it's got the original version of I Scare Myself, which Thomas Dolby had a hit with in the mid-80s. But Dan Hicks did the original, and it's on here, and that's why I picked that up from my podcast. I saw this, and I went, whoa. I'm not even sure what this is called. Breakaways? The Breakaways? It's Paul Collins and Peter Case. Of course, they were both in the beat. And um, then they separated, and Peter Case went on to form the Plim Souls, and Paul Collins sort of went his own way, and this is early before the beat, but it's got some of the songs the beat did on here, uh, it's got Working Too Hard, and Walking Out on Love is on here, earlier versions, so I haven't gotten to this yet, but I'm very much looking forward to it, as I'm a big fan of both of those men. I got Parachute, The Pretty Things. This is a new reissue, and I bought it because I was listening to, I'm not even sure what it's called. It's that Sid Barrett documentary that came out a few years ago. I was watching that, and I, I liked the music, and it turned out a lot of it was from <laughs> The Pretty Things, Parachute. And I do not know this album, but I'm going to very soon because I really like the music in that documentary a lot. These are three sort of blind buys. Um, I heard a little of it. Crush Butler. These guys are kind of hard rock. Um, but hard rock in a bluesy, cool kind of way. They're only a three-piece. Um, most of this stuff was never issued. And this is a new album, as is Hubble Bubble Talking. And they do a... a cover of Motorboat, which is a Kim Foley song, and it's why I picked this up, and uh, I was going to give it a try, um, and any band that calls themselves Radio City, <laughs> after my favorite album maybe in the whole world, the Big Star album, can't be all bad, and these are recordings from 77 to 80 in New York, I haven't listened to any of these yet, I know these guys are really, really poppy, um, so I'll give it a listen, and uh, I'll see, but all of these were really, really cheap, around six or seven bucks in this new sealed album, so. A couple more here. Finally got it. Getting close to having every, at least one copy of every album the Beatles put out, at least the major works. And this one was definitely lacking in my collection. The Beatles Anthology, number one. I did not have it. It was out of print for a while. I believe it is back in print now. But this is the original UK copy from um, the earlier mid-90s. So I was very happy to get this at a pretty reasonable price. And uh, plugs a big hole in my collection. I love early Elvis. So I picked up the Elvis Rockers album. It was pretty cheap. And... Uh, it's got all this, not all, but a lot of the stuff you want to hear. Jailhouse Rock, Blue Suede Shoes, Tutti Fruity, Lottie Miss Claudie, I Got a Woman, Money Honey, Ready Teddy, Rip It Up, Shake, Ground and Roll, Long Tall Sally, Hound Dog. You got the idea. It's Rockers. It's Elvis Rockers. One more, and I have played this. Little Richard, Shut Up. Rhino put this out. And what it is, is... It's a best of Little Richard minus his specialty stuff. So it's the stuff you don't hear. And it's, uh, what is it, uh, 51 to 64. So it's his prime years. There's even a couple of his gospel tunes on here. And they were a revelation because he had an amazing voice that you don't hear. I mean, he had an amazing voice, but he could actually sing, like properly sing. So this, this was really good. It was a revelation, and I really like this a lot. Little Richard, shut up. <laughs> okay, well that does it for my uh, little road trip and uh, a little bit beyond. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, you liked everything I got. Like, subscribe, and comment. Um, and please, 
Check out my podcast, matcracklepop.podomatic.com. Um, I play nothing but records, so that's got to interest some of you. <laughs> oh, seriously, some of you have checked it out, and I'm very, very, very appreciative of that. Um, I'm not going to do any shout-outs. You guys know who you are. Um, I've been watching a lot of your videos, as many as I can, and um, I've been commenting on some. I don't comment on, on them all. I don't always have something to say. I always share them. Um, but sometimes it's just like, how many times can you say great, you know, I mean, and I mean it, but, you know, so I don't always comment, but I've been watching a lot of them, and keep it up, they're really, really awesome, and, uh, very entertaining. Well, again, thanks for watching, and, um, I might make another video here of some stuff I got before I got this record store stuff, um, and, uh, you'll see that too if I do. Thanks, and, uh, take care.